Good to see you. Glad you could come.
Two men enter a room, and each man carries a briefcase. The first man seems very much like the second man, and the first man seems very much like the second man. Yes, but they are not. not. For two reasons. Two. One. One man is the first man, and two. One man in the briefcase has a gun. A gun. A gun. Which man is the first man, and which man has the gun? Damn it! Yes! 
I never really thought about it before, but I am the kind of guy who likes horses. I'm the kind of guy who likes John Wayne and wild turkey and carpentry and fishing on a lazy August afternoon and wild horses. And then he sits up with the moon and I sit up with the night. You see, I like horses. Thank you. You're a real cowboy. Round five, friendly advice, part two. See you, Phil, lately? Oh, yeah, sure. Phil's a good guy, eh? The best. Yeah, the best, yes. Um, the kind of guy a guy admires. The kind of guy who's got it all together. The kind of guy who picks his friends carefully because he understands that a friend is a mirror, and a mirror is a reflection of the thing before it. So, look, I don't mean to pull any punches, and I don't want you to take this the wrong way. But Phil mentioned it to me, and he wouldn't have mentioned it to me if he didn't think I would mention it to you, because he knows we're tight. I mean, he likes you. I'm almost sure he does. He thinks you're uh, a fine guy. A good guy. He does. But he mentioned that maybe lately you and I don't... Uh, I'm only saying this out of concern, as I'm sure Phil was as well. But he mentioned that maybe lately you've been on the little... The well, oh, what was his phrase? A bit too palpably desperate, I think was his phrase. And Bill, you can't hold yourself responsible for the fact that business is bad. And no matter how bad things seem right now, tomorrow's another day. Phil's worried. He would have mentioned to me otherwise, and hey, I'm worried too. But you know what? I think you should be complimented. I think you should take it to your character that a good guy like Phil is concerned about you. Oh. Well, that's funny. Funny? Yeah. You didn't mention it last night. Last night? We saw a movie. What movie? I knew. What time? 7.40. We're going to the game on Thursday. We're going to Montreal for the weekend. We're driving to Arizona for Christmas. I'm taking his son camping. He asked me to lend him 50 bucks. He wants me to build his house. His wife made a pass at me. A dog? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
A gun. Which man is the first man, and which man has the gun? Round seven. Dad. protection to your payback, the hitch is a lake. I don't think so. I say capitalize on the loss by rolling into goodwill and immortalizing over 40 years. Of course, profits will be decreased from five for a life oath. And then remember Bethlehem, where application fast B87 went balance quality went way down because of the unfettered pension liability. I mean, if we were in the States, I could up to one half and give you up an eighth of the market maker. But we're not, so are you with me? Long hallway. 
small staircase. Going upstairs, <coughs> going upstairs, going upstairs. Door. Lock. Key. Open the door. And this is my secret room. I heard you right. Some men live on mountains, 
some men live in balance. And only those men, standing small and insignificant in the valley, would stop their futile fight to claim a crest of the hill they could never hope to own. They would not be so blind, but to consider the fact and privilege of living in the benevolent shadow of a mountain. But to see the truth and face it, that takes balls. And like mountains, many of men are born with them. <laughs> Fuck you, Alphonse. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Business. But there might be a place opening up in accounting. And from what I've heard about business bill is that Frank, I really like that tie. Oh well, uh, thanks, Bill. And from what I've heard about business bill is that silk? Of course. How could I imagine Donna will buy a tie like that? I'm offering a break here, Bill. I'm like, that's not Donna's taste. It's very flashy. Yet tasteful. Why would a person buy a tie like that? What kind of store? Bill. What kind of person? Stop. My tie like that. Don't, Bill. You know, it's a very young tie. Shut up about the goddamn tie! <coughs> Two stories. The first story is a very familiar story because everybody knows it. And it's a story about a little town. 18 years old, who is, by the way, knocked up, and, well, it's, uh, not bad taste in ties, don't you think? Uh, now, the second story. That was a secret. So let's keep it to yourselves. Alright, so we're at Floyd's party, me and Sally. Huge spread, packed bar, beautiful house, the works, tons of people, people everywhere. Oh, well, there's Donna. Where's Frank? Frank's not there. Donna's there, though. She looks great. Who's that she's talking to? It's Bill. So I wander over. And they're talking about politics. I wander off. <laughs> I have a drink, have a chat, talk about the pool. I head back in, poke around my face some more, shoot the shit. Bill and Donna, still talking. Five years over. And now they're talking about poetry. I cruise off. <laughs> so Tom comes to leave, I'm side on my arm, and I'm talking to Mr. Fuller. I look around and say goodbye to Donna. No Donna. I look around for Phil. No Phil. Well, I gotta take a pee before we leave while I can. There's Donna. In the shower. With Phil! <laughs> and when she sees me, she smiles and she goes, Shh, close the door, Bill! Uh, now, the first story, you can repeat. But the second story, that's a secret. Shh! Spit, mix, 
Brothers, brothers, never part the broken knobs and covered hearts. All our weakness, all our woes, we stick together, highs and lows. Pledge made, promise kept. To what end? Never end. Transit, transport. One, two, three. Cut through the large of the plate. 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 I'll be you. I'm a good swimmer. My brother taught me how to swim, and he's on a team. You guys think you're so hot? What'd you name anyway? My name's Lisa. My mom calls me Ruby sometimes. I hate that. You brother? What's your name? You got a cottage here? We got a cottage up on the hill by the store. You know what I mean? Used to be a farm. We don't have any animals. I wish we had a horse. I love horses. What's your name anyway? Hey, wait, it's a farm. Oh. Hey, wait. Hey, slow down. Wait. Wait. Hey. His decision, his compassion, his desire, his jealousy, his self image, his self knowledge, his pride, his pleasure, his body, his politics, his will to power, his concept of God, his dreams, his memories. And at first, there's so much sound, rushing, swirling, pulsing, and then no sound, and then peace. And you will float, or you will sink. And if you float, it will be as if you're flying. And when you sink, and you hit bottom, you'll bounce like a man on the moon. Cut through the waters of the point. 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 things clear. <laughs> these are my eyes, these are my ears, and this is the back of my bed. <laughs> and the winner has and will always rule. Thus is the way of the world, like business, like battle, like love. A few may fall along the way, but compared to the prize, what are a few? The prize is what you want, and what you want is to hear in every mouth, every bust, every bell, every crack, every whisper. Don't be afraid. The thing we must learn is to balance compassion with desire. For instance, Bill, you like this tie? You like this tie, Bill? Yeah? Because I want you to have it, Bill. Well, say thank you, Bill. Say thank you, Bill! Thank you. Huh. No thanks necessary, Bill. I got a dozen just like it at home. You see, don't be fooled. Beware compassion. Compassion will lose the race. Compassion will kill desire, especially the desire to be first. And being first, my friends, is the point. Compassion is the brother of guilt, and guilt is the mother of stomach cancer. And the first man is the man who is guiltless beyond all circumstance and is sure of his right to be first. And the first man is the man who can recognize the second man. And we sat on the sand at the edge the point, and we waited, and we waited, and you, you just got scared and you ran home, and all night, all 
night. Ah, wait. And when the body washed up on the shore, I, I tried to comfort her, but she, she did not respond. Then, to evoke some reaction, I slapped her. So far, my hand still hurts. Round 13, only one gun is loaded. 